And this is why you always check your equipment because oh, this battery is unhooked. Good morning. Welcome to day one of Taylor's, Taylor's, no, a, a traveling day in the life of a drone pilot. Right now I'm on day one of travel. Actually, I've been on the road for three weeks, but I kind of came up with this idea of kind of showing what it's like traveling as a drone pilot. So right now I'm getting ready to leave Kansas. I was just in Colorado. Now I'm in Kansas, getting ready to head to Nebraska. So I have a few hours of driving and then some other things I got to do once I get to Nebraska before starting on the next job. If you don't know, I currently do infrastructure inspection work, so I can't bring you out on the actual job site and show you what I do like day to day. Hopefully one day I'll get approval for that, but for now I can't do that. So I wanted to show you kind of a day in my life as much as I can. So also right now, disclaimer, this is during the COVID-19 pandemic. So there might be differences in what you may experience once the pandemic's over. Right now I'm at Hampton Inn. I'm at a Hampton Inn. I can give you a quick pan of the room if you'd like. There's a bed and this room is really small for what it is. It's definitely not my personal preference. Typically when I book a room, I do a two bed room. So this is pro tip for hotels. Typically if you stay in a two bed room, the room's a little bigger. This room's pretty tight, especially with the equipment and stuff. I've already put it in the car and I'll show it to you once we get to where we're going. Anyway, let me finish packing up my stuff and let's head out on the road. Let's get it. So I got a few hours of driving, so I'll check in with y'all when there's something to report. See ya. Okay, so now I've stopped the gas station, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill up. So gas prices here, by the way, are only $1.59. So I'm gonna fill up and we'll keep moving. <laughs> It is so nice out right now. Like yesterday I was wearing this and now today it's like 75, beautiful, sunny. So hopefully the weather keeps up like this, but in this region of the country in this time of year, it's so up and down. Like one day it's like 10 degrees, the next day it's like, you know, 75. It's 75 and sunny right now. So, you know, I'm hoping the weather keeps up like this. Almost at the hotel though, almost to my uh, final destination. So. All right, now it's time to get back on the road, get checked into the hotel, bring all the stuff from back there. There's just a lot more stuff I need to do, so, all right. Now we are at the hotel, so I'm going to go check in. I just checked in, I got my key, and the first thing I do before I start unloading stuff is I always check out the room just to make sure, because otherwise, then you just unloaded all that stuff, then uh, you're SOL, you unloaded all that stuff, and then you gotta load it back in the car, and blah, blah, blah. So, at the front desk, they were uh, really sanitary, so they had an entire plastic cage, one, and then two, they actually had an area where if you use a pen, you put it into another bucket to get sanitized. So they're going as far as sanitizing individual pens that you're using at the front desk. So I think that's great that they're going that far. And here we are at my room, let's check it out. Hampton Inn, the last room that you saw at the beginning of this video, 
why I prefer two beds is because you get more space in the room in general. So look, I have a lot of space in here. I'm only going to be using one bed. I can put equipment on the other bed and there's more room in general to kind of spread out. And I'll show you why that's important once I start bringing all the stuff upstairs, which is the next step. So let's go ahead and start unloading everything from the vehicle and bring it up into the room. <laughs> so as I mentioned previously, we're getting ready to start this part of this process and that is unloading everything in the vehicle boxes we got all this stuff in the car back here we got all this stuff so we got to get all this stuff out of the car and onto the carts that i have right here gonna unpack it in a minute and I'll tell you what's what but uh actually you know what I can tell you what's what's now so these cardboard boxes there's four of these those are batteries for the drone this case right here that's the drone itself I have the Alta 6 and then this case right here that's all the sensors and stuff that's a box I can't show you the contents of but I'll, I'll take out the drone show it to you I gotta inventory everything anyways and now we are going to get to the part that you have been waiting for, which is the part where I open the case with the drone and put that together. Hey. Before, when I said I have to inventory what's going on, this is the list that I have to go through this case and inventory everything in here and go through the other cases and inventory in there. So you all are more than welcome to watch while I do that. right here ready to go and I'm gonna put them in and then we're gonna fire the Alta up. Right now I have the Alta connected to the app so you can see here the Alta app so I'm just gonna go through and check the statuses and uh, make sure everything's good to go on it and this is also where you can change the LED lights all right, this is the controller we used to fly. It's from Taba. And this is why you always check your equipment.
because oh, this battery is unhooked. So this battery inside of here was disconnected from the Futaba itself. So I'm just gonna go ahead and connect that. Okay, so now we're gonna turn this guy on, make sure that everything's working okay. So that's all good to go. I need batteries good. Remote's working correctly with this aircraft, so we're good to go on that. So that's pretty much it for this part of the process. I got the aircraft put together. The next part is to put the sensors and stuff on, which again, I can't show you, and then just go through my extra spare parts case and inventory, but I feel like that would be boring for you all to watch. I will get with y'all when I'm in the next phase of traveling, which I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna have for dinner, what I'm gonna eat, and then probably go to the store at some point. All right, and that's it for today's video. All about basically a, a day in my life when I'm traveling from point A to point B. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, I, I'm waiting for the day that I can bring you out on, an, on a real work site with me, but you know, that'll come when it comes. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, it would mean so much to me if you hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell and the like button. So that way you don't miss the videos I put out every single week to help you grow your income as a drone pilot. I'm Taylor Mitchum, this is Drunero, and I'll see you in the next video. Fly safe.